In today's video, I'm going to show you how to measure and order custom drive shaft for your vehicle, whether it be a drag car, a hot rod, mud truck, rock crawler, or a Sunday cruiser. It doesn't matter. I'm going to cover all of it. First, grab a piece of paper and a pen, then a tape measure and some calipers if you have. Now write down on a piece of paper, A, B, don't worry about C. C will be determined by the drive shaft shop that you choose later on. D and E, max horsepower, max RPM, trans, rear, and rear ratio. The rear ratio is not needed unless you are ordering a drive shaft for a rock crawler or a mud truck. Same with tire size. Now write down the maximum horsepower potential that you're going to run. For me, it's 1300 horsepower. Now write down the maximum potential RPM you're going to run. For me, it's 8600. Write down the transmission type. For me, 4L80E. And write down the rear axle type. For me, it's a forward 9 inch. Now we will be going under the car and taking four measurements under the vehicle. First, you will need to determine the A length. With your Tape measure straight and level. Measure the distance from the face of the transmission tail housing to the face of your rear end pinion yoke. Mine was 44 and a half inches, so I'll write that down for A. Now we will measure from the face of the transmission tail housing to the end of our output shaft. If you have a tape measure, try your best and then make note that this was measured with a tape measure. Mine was 672 thousandths, just 172 thousandths over half an inch. So I'll write that down for B. Now we will measure the diameter of the rear end pinion you joint cap. Again, if you're using a tape measure, make sure to note it next to the measure. Mine was an inch and 175 thousandths, so I'll write that down for D. Now, we will measure the distance between the U joint cap faces. Again, one last time, if you're using a tape measure, make sure to note it next to the measurement. Mine was 3 inches and 625 thousandths, so I'll write that down for E. Drive shaft diameter and material composition will be chosen by the drive shaft maker, unless you're ordering a stock replacement for a Sunday cruiser. Then you will just need to match the diameter and materials that you are replacing. And on a side note, if you're unsure what material your drive shaft is made out of, stick a magnet to it. If it sticks, it's steel. If it doesn't, it's aluminum. And if it's carbon fiber, well, you should know that. <laughs> okay, that's the hard part done and out of the way. Now it's time to choose a manufacturer or a drive shaft shop. When choosing a manufacturer or a shop, make sure to do your research and opt for a reputable company known for quality and craftsmanship. If you can't think of one off the top of your head, open up Google Maps and on your phone or computer, type in drive shaft shop or drive line shop, drive train shop. It's super important that you take a minute to read all the reviews on each shop. For the best experience, I recommend choosing a shop with the most reviews and the highest ratings. But sometimes you can just call and tell right away if it's someone you want to do business with or not. It's also important to ask about lead times so you can get an idea on how long it will take before you receive your drive shaft. All right, now that you're prepared with the measurements in hand and a shop or manufacturer selected to call, email, or show up in person. For me, I'm going with Strange Engineering for my special drag racing requirements and their impeccable reputation for strong and reliable parts. Strange Engineering has a contact form to fill out where they have someone contact you via email within 24 hours. You can also just call and they will direct you through the proper channel. Once you get into contact with your manufacturer or shop, explain you're in need of a drive shop that can support your needs. Make sure to specify any special requirements you may have to ensure a perfect match for your vehicle. For example, max horsepower potential, maximum RPM. Also, if you're measuring a drive shaft for something like a rock crawler, be sure to tell them the size of the tires and the gearing used in your rear differential so they can set you up with the proper material properties. And lastly, keep future upgrades in mind. That way you order the perfect drive shaft no matter what you throw at it. Basically, order the drive shaft that will support the abuse you are planning on throwing at it in the future. Armed with your measurements and specifications, they should be able to select a diameter, material composition, U-joints, and even a slip yoke for the transmission side. I hope that this five minute video helped answer all your questions you might have had. Return the favor by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. We're all about building stuff on a budget at home. And also drop me a comment below and tell me what project you are currently working on. I love hearing about people's projects. It's just cool knowing that we got so many any hot rodders out there still putting in the sweat and elbow grease at home. If you still have questions, don't be shy. Comment below. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.